Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on displaying values when using a formula in spreadsheet mode. I'm currently in spreadsheet mode and I have two columns of data here filled in column A with four cells of data and column B with four cells of data. First off I'm going to input a formula which divides the figures in column A by the figures in column B. So I'm going to press option, fill formula and then in form equals I'm going to input A1 divided by B1. In range I want this to apply to all four rows which I have data in so I want them inputted in from cell C1 to cell C4 so I'm just going to change the end one to C4. Press equals and here I have my results. So in column C it is showing the result when you divide the figure in column A by the figure in column B on each of the different rows there. Now one thing to notice is that it just displays the values in column C to five significant figures. On the bottom line, the sort of working line that you have there, it displays the formula that we've used. So A1 divided by B1, row 2 it would be A2 divided by B2 and so on. Now, five significant figures may be sufficient for what you need, but what if you wanted to see the full calculator display? You wanted to see more than just five significant figures. What we need to do is to replace where the calculator is displaying the formula there with the fullest value that we can. What we can do, well, there's two ways that we can help ourselves do that. Um, the first way is that we need to change the setup and the way that the spreadsheet is displayed. So if you press shift and then set up and you need to navigate down to four spreadsheet and then to show cell and then finally to value. And then if we go back to the spreadsheet then it's now displaying the full calculator display of the value there. So we've got more than the five significant figures. If we wanted to see a fuller value, scroll down, you can see that that's displaying for each row. And to change it back, if we want to change that to displaying the formula again, it's shift setup down to for spreadsheet, two for show cell, and then finally one for formula this time. And that's gone back to showing the formula that we've used on the working line there. There is a second way that we can display the values and that's by using the next column along. So if we use column D, and I'm going to input the full values into here. If you press option and then to fill value. And then we're just going to deal with the first row here. So I want the value from C1 and the class whiz will read that as in cell D1, I want to display the full value of cell C1. And I'm going to change the range because I want that to apply not just to row one, but to row two, three, and four. So I'm going to take that down to row D4, press equals. And here you can see we've got the same values as row C, uh, but the calculator is just displaying the full value on our main working line there. And we'll continue to display the formula in column C. So there we go, how we can see the full calculator display when we're calculating values using formulas in spreadsheet mode. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the calculator guide.